Hey folks, today is a new weekend and, and I'm ready to test out the Stella Vita device and we are going to check how it practically works. For those who have not seen my last video, I will put the link in the description and you can see how you can set up your Stella Vita device. You can uh, connect your equipments to Stella Vita and how it basically functions. Today, it's going to be the real test in the field. I'm going to test it out, how it polar aligns, how it guides and all those things. Hey guys, I'm Ramesh. I'm an amateur astronomer and an astrophotographer. Welcome to TV Skies. This is the bad news about my mount, the screw has broken again, though I had mended it like 2-3 times in the past, but it just did not work, it has broken again. And the sky is also not very clear today, so I am not sure how it's gonna go. Hi, so I am all set now, uh, I have already set up my scope, my camera, you can see my mount. Today I am using two different set of cameras, last time I used my two text IMX 571 sensor along with the 224MC uh, guide camera. Today I'm basically using my S Campaign 533MC Pro and the another camera that I have for guiding is ASI 120 Mini Mono. I've already placed my telescope here. Just one cable to the Stella Vita and it powers almost everything. For as of now, I do not require any uh, dew heater because the winter season is gone there is no dew anymore until the monsoon comes again so for right now i'm good without the, the dew heater i can hear the first beep the second beep one more beep and i can then connect my stella vita last night i tried so that's the third beep so last night i tried uh, to play it solved, but it didn't work. You can see those two trees in the center uh, The polaris is right between those two. So after plate solving two occasions on the third occasion when scope moved uh, Towards the left 10 degree more So I think most of the part of the sky that it that the telescope captured was the tree so it could not plate solve so I roughly Polar line yesterday. So I hope today I would be like kind of able to plate solve better today is much better seeing conditions i can already see polaris much better today a little bit up today this is the second night of testing the stella vita last night i captured m106 just for the sake of capturing nothing serious i just wanted to test out the polar alignment and how it slews and centers and plates all stuff and how we capture stuff and how i will be downloading those stuff so continuing with that uh, from yesterday my scope is all set up now let's start this session okay so the first thing that i will do is focus my scope uh, i'm using my batinov mask to focus it and you can see i've already focused it the star is well focused though it's not in the center it's on the left hand side bottom left hand side but that's absolutely fine and you can already see there is some haze in the sky some clouds and the light pollution as well on the right hand side Okay, now that my scope is already focused, I will go to the left hand side menu bar and I will click on scope and then go to the polar alignment button and you can already see it gives you a few instructions. I've already read them. That's absolutely fine. The time difference that is showing to me is kind of weird. It's like 30 minutes difference between my mount and the Stellavator device. I did try to sync it, sync those two times from that's basically from my mount to the Stellavator device looks like it did sync but it does not reflect on the screen uh, then I will just go in and try to play it solve the polar alignment feature that comes in Stella Vita it's very smooth it's just like the Nina's three-point polar alignment and I really like this feature because it was as smooth as the Nina's three-point polar alignment and because I'm using very short focal length telescope today which is the red cat 51 i do not need to be very very precise with the polar alignment and as soon as i achieve good polar alignment and the number turns green 
I will not go any far from that. So I will just leave it there. And one more thing I liked here is that as soon as you achieve good polar alignment, Stella Vita makes very good sound that's very pleasing to ears. All right, so the polar alignment test is done. Now let's move to the guiding test and see how it guides. Okay, so I am here on the left hand side bar menu on the guide button and you can already see that uh, that the guiding is getting calibrated. You can change your exposure from the right hand side bar menu, but it does not affect your guiding calibration. So now the guide star has been selected and it has started guiding. So let's see how it goes. I will try to capture as much images as I can before the clouds roll in because it is forecasted to be cloudy uh, at night. So let's see how it goes. I was trying to capture M106 again today but unfortunately my mount did not support it at all as you know the RA axis screw has now broken so that's why it was failing to center it but whatever random part of the sky my mount took me I just started with that so that I can test it out how the guiding works and all those things and when I zoomed in into the images they were all absolutely fine I was able to take around 30 odd images from this session of whatever part of the sky my mount took me because of its broken RA axis. So I did test it out on that part of the sky and after 30 images the clouds rolled in and I was not able to do anything. So I just picked up my scope and everything and just brought everything down to my home. And the next day I did check those images and let me show you how those images came out. So here are the images that I took from yesterday's session. They were around 30 odd images, 30-32 images, out of which 5 or 6 I have just scrapped them because uh, they were spoiled because of wind gust and they were like star trails. But rest of the 26 images are spot on. They are very crisp and the stars are very tight, which I really liked. And you can see these images everywhere the stars are pretty good I would say and overall I'm so happy with the guiding test as well so that's how you polar align and guide with the Stella Vita I hope you like this video I will give you the conclusion that I basically found out but before that I would like to request you if you like this video and if you are liking my contents please feel free to subscribe to my channel and share with your friends and if you have any comments on uh, Stella Vita or any other stuff regarding the astrophotography and astronomy, you can ask me in the comment sections. So what's my take on this Stella Vita device? So there are quite a few that I have observed. First thing is that I didn't see any proper flat wizard in the, in the Stella Vita. At least I was not able to uh, find it out. In the first instance, maybe I just missed it completely. I will have to review it again and like see if there is any functions to use the dynamic exposure, dynamic brightness method. So I would definitely love the flat wizard kind of a thing in the Stella Vita. Second thing, kind of disconnects at time. Mostly I found out that if you go away from your scope like uh, five to seven meters, it kind of disconnects and then reconnects to your uh, mobile phone. Another thing that I realized is there is some, some kind of like small, small bugs in it. If I have to give you an example, I would say the uh, the syncing of the mounts time and the Stella Vita time, it did happen, but it was not apparent. Once the Stella Vita's time was synced to the mounts time, it did not appear. So that's kind of a bug, I think. Uh, and uh, there are very few other bugs. There was something with guiding as well. The guiding graph that shows like how much correction the mount is making, it's it was basically on the opposite direction. So very minor uh, bug in that case, but it was only apparent uh, bug. Uh, it does not affect your guiding at all. For the iOS app, I would 
definitely love to have the star at least because it helps us to uh, basically frame properly and all those bits so i have already mailed uh, my requests and these suggestions to stella vita and they have already confirmed that they are already working on the ios version of the star atlas it's already there in the android version but they are working on it and soon it will be, be rolled out with the new update maybe but good thing i like about stella vita uh, out of many is it's very quick very quick to set up it's not bulky it's not very big like a mini pc it's very small than the mini pc star atlas and the android is like super helpful very very nice and the best thing i like about stella vita is there is only one cable that goes out from your power bank and it goes to your stella vita and your stella vita powers your equipments and also collects data from there that's the best part i like about it so that's all i remember right now about all the goods and bads but i really like stella vita and i will be using this thing uh, in the future as well one thing i like about tuptech is they are very open to any suggestions i gave them many suggestions and they took all of them and one of the example is this one where i asked them to integrate the live stacking feature in stella vita so this was just a test that i did with the guiding and polar alignment next thing i will be doing is taking a full session of a data with the stella vita device i hope you like this video stay tuned for more content on stella vita and my future targets that i would be capturing i will see you next time goodbye